we have created this form now we are going to work on sign in form okay we are done with this sign up form now whenever i click on this sign in button i should be redirected to sign in dot php okay this file i have not created it so here i am having this not found i'll just come back now inside this root folder i'm just going to create one file i'll just write here sign in dot php now if i just refresh this one now when i click on this sign in button you can see i am redirected to sign in dot php and here i am not having any error because this file i have already created here now inside this file inside this sign in also we are just going to create this form okay this entire form we are going to create okay if you notice here whatever stylings we are having inside this sign up form we are having the same thing but here we are having username we are having password and we are having confirm password but inside sign in we are having only username and password so what i am going to do is from this index.php file i'll just do control a i'm just going to copy the entire code and here i'll be pasting that one i'll just close the left panel now first i'm just going to remove this third field okay confirm password field i'll save this now if i refresh my project now when i click on this sign in you can see i'm having the same form but we have to do some changes here now for this sign up the height is very large we are going to change that one we will see how to change this button and also we are going to change the text here okay some changes we are going to do rest everything is same now here inside this first i'm just going to remove the title and here i'll be writing here sign in sign in then we have link bootstrap css link font awesome link style sheet then inside container we are having all these things now instead of sign up i'm just going to write here sign in now here everything is same we are having okay you can give the same name whatever value we have given for the name attribute inside sign up you can give the same name here okay it doesn't matter whatever you are giving okay this one whatever you want you can give either it can be same or it can be different it completely depends on you then we are having password field then instead of this sign up i'm just going to write here sign in inside this name i'm just going to write here sign in okay whatever you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give here sign in whenever i click on this button only then i have to check for this particular fields inside the database okay now you don't have to focus on php part you just have to focus on this form how to create this form then below this here instead of writing this one i'm just going to write here don't have an account don't have an account then sign up and whenever i click on this button i should be redirected to sign up dot php i'll save this i'll refresh this one now whenever i click on this sign up button you can see okay i'm redirected to sign up dot php but this file is not present instead of sign up i just have to write here home page okay for home page i'm just going to write here index dot php because inside index dot php we have created the sign up form i'll just come back again i'll refresh this now when i click on this sign up you can see i'm redirected to index.php and inside this we are having this form okay now for this card inside index.php we have created the card and inside that card we have just given the height as 350 pixel now inside sign in i don't want that much of height so here wherever we are having this card i'm just going to write one class i'll just write here sign in card i'll just copy this card i'll save this and inside style.css i'm just going to paste that class now for this class i'll just give the height as 300 pixel i'll save this now if i refresh this one let me just come here now when i click on this you can see the height is been reduced and here i'm having this proper form now here we have just created this sign up button instead of that to use common okay we are having the same stylings inside sign in button as well so to avoid confusion instead of giving this class for this sign up button i'm just going to write here registration button registration btn i'll save this i'll just copy the class if i don't change the button then also it is going to work but to avoid confusion i'm just writing here registration button so that this stylings will be applied to everything okay inside this also it will be applied and inside this also it will be applied now here i'm just going to change this one i'll just write here registration button 
okay instead of sign up button or sign in button each and every time i have to change this one so i'm just writing here common button name that is registration button again if i refresh this one i'm going to have the same output now here also if you want to change you can change okay it completely depends on you but inside sign in i'm just going to write here sign in i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see the color has gone now to get this color i'll just copy this one wherever i am having this sign up i'll just write here comma here i'm going to paste i just want to style the anchor tag i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see here i'm having this one for this also if you just want to give common class then also you can do that one it completely depends on you okay but it will be good if you are using the common classes so that you don't have to repeat this particular lines okay if you are having common stylings then you don't have to repeat like this you can directly use common class for both and you can display the same stylings okay this is how we are going to create whenever i click on this sign up button i am redirected to index.php and inside this we are having this sign up form and here i am having this message if you are already registered and if you are already have an account and if your data is already stored inside the database then i have to sign in here once i click on sign in i am redirected to sign in.php file and inside this i am having this sign in form again here i am having sign up button and here i am having sign in button we are done with this sign up form we are done with this sign in form now next we are going to work with databases we are going to create simple database inside that we are going to create tables then we are going to see how to connect to the database and then we are going to perform all the operations related to registration form